Hello, Music Bear here. This is a very special uh, edition uh, or recording because we're going to look at um, compiling uh, elements, um, where to do it, and how to do it. Um, the situation, if we if, if we took a, a, a uh, snapshot right now, um, I have uh, a Windows. Sure. Uh, sorry, a, a, a Linux running, and uh, I have a file structure here. So I will open my files. If I have imported um, uh, elements correctly, I will have a LMS development folder. This is it. I open that, and then I have a folder called uh, Elements, uh, and I open that. And in here we have this structure, so you check up on your own now and see if you have the correct structure, file structure. And uh, you will have a library um, uh, uh, with the name of build, and I open that. This here, this library build, is where we run our commands from. So what I do is I right click this um, library just somewhere in, 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 in the screen and I use open in terminal so now you can see here I am on my virtual box because I'm running in Windows but the, f the, the structure in, wi in, in Linux says I am in elements development elements and in the build directory inside the build directory uh, this is where I run the dependency scripts. This is where I have to copy the dependency script from uh, paste bin uh, that I have uh, um, not talked about but written about uh, on um, um, our form uh, in, 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 in uh, the support section where um, the paste bin script imports everything that is in so that is um, necessary in order to um, to to run uh, and build uh, elements. When I have done that, I can't do that now because I already have. I get a mess out of it if I do. So um, uh, I won't do that. Um, uh, but you can imagine me running this. Uh, I think it's thirty line or something like that um, script here now. And then, after you have done that, um, you type in the um, the commands for actually compiling it, uh, and they are also uh, inside the paste bin script. What I have done now is that I have taken a copy from that, and then I can right click, and I can choose the command paste. And <laughs> that well, that went fast, didn't it? Um, let's go up here and see if we can we can find that. Moment. So let's see what happens here. Now you can see it's building. It's building, 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 building. And it takes some time, but it's not. But you have to do this every time you have to check for something that you have made. Um, then you have to um, to save the file um, inside your file structure, um, the the code file, and then you have to run. Um, you've come to linking and building. Uh, sorry, I have to stupid. Here it is. Um, elements. Um just try to open something here. That's how it is. And up here I just have to see now if I go down here you can see that's the X where I can shut the running instance of elements down. To do that I'll just go back to my um to my my um, uh, 
CLI or some command and uh, if you go all the way up here you should see here that this is where I started everything this is the command I gave into my virtual box CMake and of course well that is part of the script so you just have to take a copy and use that paste command and everything will just run that is the simplest part <laughs> of everything but of course you can see there's a lot of things going on lot of things <laughs> completely insane you have to do this every time you make a change in a code file um, so what I usually like to do I just um, do like that and um, our source is not this, is it? Um, blah blah blah. There's two source folders, it's very confusing. Let's see here, can we see? Make fine. No, it's not. See, there are two sources, stupid thing. But the source that we have to use is this one here in this library, not in the build library, but in this library, the elements library. So, this is the source. And for instance, if we look at the GUI, um, you can see here, here's, here are the editors, and one of the CPP files we could look at was piano roll. It looks like this. I have done some code changes here, so it jumps down to where my uh, latest edit was, um, was, was, was made. Um, of course it won't do that for you um, so you make your your change in uh, in the code and then you go to save the current file and it save the file uh, in the file structure and you're ready to make yet an other um, compiler um, with uh, um, Um, yes, we have to go to to um, to our CLI here, like this, and all the way down here, you have to again insert. So you just right-click and choose paste. Maybe see you will have that lying there, and um, well, this is where you 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 pour your coffee, I would say. Pour coffee at this point in time, and it just go on and on, and then it comes to blah 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 blah, blah. and this is where I made the mistake before I forgot that I have to step over this with an enter, and then it compiles. If you have <laughs> uh, a um, a code base without errors if you don't it exactly won't compile it will just throw up a buttload of errors um, and we don't like that at all that was it um, how to compile um, elements with the instructions from the pastebin file um, that we have discussed in forum um, yeah don't have anything else uh, have a nice day bye bye